One of the most important things we can do is keep the artifacts that we still have in good condition for people to experience. It's really important that we preserve the physical objects that we still have left. Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, really appreciate you stopping by on today's video. Now I am a Canadian, a proud one at that, currently serving in the Canadian Armed Forces, and I have a huge fond passion for armoured fighting vehicles. And being that I am part of the Canadian Armed Forces, I am very also attached to my own military heritage and history. And today we are talking about the Holy Roller Sherman Memorial Project, which I have discussed on a video in the past, which I will put in the description box below if you want to take a look. But basically this video is kind of reiterating the previous video because now the project that is a memorial project is being actually fundraised. Yes, it is actually time for us to start standing up around the world of those who are armored fighting vehicle fanatics, maybe a Canadian, maybe a military member, to start supporting this incredible artifact. Now, the Holy Roller Heritage Conservation Project is there to preserve the Holy Roller, which is a Sherman tank memorial located at Victoria Park. Only one of two such tanks that are remaining in Canada that survived the D-Day campaign, which was obviously the large-scale military event considered to be the turning point in World War II against the resistance of the Nazis. This World War II hero tells the story of many of the London and area of men and women who sacrificed a great deal during World War II so that we can enjoy the rights, freedoms and standard of living that I have here today in Canada. Now, this video is more specific to the fund or the fundraising project overall. The First Hussars Cavalry Fund is looking to raise 250,000 Canadian dollars to save the Holy Roller vehicle. Right now, although exterior-wise she looks very clean and healthy, inside she's having a really hard time with rust, damage and other in desperate need of repairs. Now, it's safe to say, you know, a lot of people in my previous video have said this vehicle should be put inside, etc, etc. And, you know, I could agree to some extent, but at the end of the day, putting vehicles like this inside does somewhat degrade the fact of the public image. This tank is seen every day in the public eye in this park. Now, you could say, should we put a shelter over the top of it? But this isn't what I want to focus on today. And I know a lot of you did kind of relate to that in my previous video, but I really just want to talk about getting this tank back to its original state and back to a point where it's not going to destroy itself and in fact the turret is so heavy and the interior hull structure is weakening so bad that it's actually potentially going to crush its own hull with the weight of the turret and that's not good. They're asking that we donate and preserve the Holy Roller's legacy and help us to honour the fallen who served alongside or with this vehicle. And the contribution that you may produce towards this ensures that their sacrifices are remembered and it's a vital part of both local, Canadian and worldwide history when it comes to fighting tyranny and protecting our freedoms of today. And the future generations to come need to see this vehicle. They need to see it. It's not glorification of war. It's not trying to, you know, make out as if this is something that we want to, you know, uh, make as an idol to uh, World War II. It's more along the terms of, you know, ensuring that people remember why this vehicle is so important. Now in 2021, the Holy Roller will be removed from its pad in Victoria Park where it's rested since 1956 and taken to a workshop. In the workshop, it will be disassembled with the parts and metal repaired as required. Some of the uh, you know things that they found when they uh, removed uh, the vehicle for inspection in 2017 was basically that the uh, vehicle is extremely rusted. It's having a very difficult time. We need to preserve it quickly. And this is why funding of this project is really important right now. Now, $250,000 is quite a bit of money, folks. And if I can do anything in my power to support a project like this, I'm going to do so. So for myself, I'm going to be donating $250 Canadian dollars to start. And next year, I may be additionally adding another $250 Canadian dollars. My ask of you as a supporters of my channel and of supporters of armor or, you know, um, military heritage and history is contribute just a dollar. Anything that you can put towards this project would mean the world to those who have supported it, uh, those who have had members of their family, you know, work beside it or, you know, with it and the regiment as well. You know, in the first Hussars, they're, they're clearly... I'm very proud of this vehicle, and rightly so, and, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud to know that this vehicle has done so much 
I mean, it literally landed on D-Day and fought through the entire war and came home and is now sat in Canada. And unfortunately, this is its biggest struggle. You know, it went through such tyranny, such tough times against, you know, a fearful enemy. And now it's fighting rust. And that's its, that's its enemy now. And it makes me sad. It brings a little bit of a tear to my eye knowing that such a beautiful armored fine vehicle, the Sherman, is in this state and we need to work together as a community as an armored fighting vehicle enthusiast community to support this vehicle i think it's critical and not just that but as me as a canadian i think it's very important if there's something that appeals to me more than anything to support or to to contribute towards in terms of donation and, and getting behind this is it the holy roller so i'd like to play a little video from the uh, the foundation that is actually rolling with this which is the holy roller memorial uh, foundation or the a group that's basically funding this particular action to restore it and they've got some really good points and key messages and then i'm just going to leave the video at that i think their messages speak way more than my words do but i do encourage you all to please please consider donating towards this project it would mean the world to everyone involved it would mean a lot from me knowing that my followers are behind something like this Look at this beautiful vehicle. How can we not want to keep this and preserve this for many, many generations to come to ensure that we know that we never want to walk down those roads again where we have to fight such horrible, horrible odds and, you know, the world that went into a war that should never have been. And this vehicle is a reminder that we should never have to do that again. Take a look at this video, see what you think, and uh, hopefully by the end of it, You'll have a little bit more of an understanding as to why I take this so seriously. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. All the best. Bye-bye. Right behind me is the Holy Roller. This is one of two tanks that landed at D-Day that actually survived the war. Millions of Canadians have served. Every time you put on the uniform and you go out to serve your country, you put your life at risk. It was a pretty terrible experience to live through, you know. Um, people talk about the Holy Roller being like a, a glorification of war, and that's not, I think that if you asked anybody who has served, um, if there's any glory in that, I would think that they would say no. It's because of them, uh, the sacrifices that they made, uh, that we remember them, and through the Holy Roller, who we regard as being uh, one of these veterans. Even the schools they went to are gone now. Those, those buildings have been demolished, they've been replaced by newer things. So one of the most important things we can do is keep the artifacts that we still have in good condition for people to experience. It's really important that we preserve the physical objects that we still have left. The odds of the, the tank surviving right through the war would have been very low. So having the Holy Roller here in Victoria Park to, to have survived right from the, the beaches of Normandy through, throughout the war, to be able to, to return to Canada in more or less one piece, uh, it's, it's pretty significant. Every single year uh, for the Memorial D-Day, we do a big D-Day parade where we'll go around through City Hall all the way to the Holy Roller in Victoria Park in order to commemorate the people that gave their lives on D-Day. When we see something in front of us uh, that actually was part of the effort against fascism was part of the effort to preserve democracy. When you see, as we so often do in front of artifacts, the historic description, uh, recognizing the importance, the significance of what that artifact represents, it brings history to life. I've had the opportunity to travel all over the world and the incredible military monuments over there, they're not militarizing anything. They're part of history, they're part of education, they're part of something to be explored and discovered and something for us to be proud of in our history. And I think it's so important that we keep that piece of history here in London, in Victoria Park, for future generations to enjoy. They've put heart and soul into this because they believe, as I believe, that this is an important symbol not of London's history, but of Canada's history and the place that we are today. You know what we need? One dollar from every Londoner. Give us one dollar from every Londoner and we will be able to restore the Holy Roller to its place of grandeur and respect.